welcome back to my channel uh, welcome back to black rose i think i'm gonna make this like the final one i'm gonna try to beat the whole thing in one go because i'm sick and tired of playing this scary game i'm not good at it i don't want to play other ones you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean let's get right into it god i i'm not good with games like these like not at all oh there are a lot of strange things <laughs> around this place for instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. Uh -huh. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. Mm. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. Uh -huh. He told me it broke off of something. Uh -huh. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had Dear been Tay. attached to something for a very long time. Uh -huh. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. Which is where? She was often depressed, oh. so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. Huh. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is oh, down to the Oh, come on. But no. I went down there no. to ask her something and no. find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. After all, I <sighs> did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Come on! That doesn't- I don't want to- uh, What the heck? Oh! Alright. <laughs> they still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle. So there's another monster. Funeral, it oh had God! To be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. Who is this talking? What's sad is, is this that me? Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Uh huh. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing, doing so. so the person, the person. I don't know. As far as feeling nervous around coffins. I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation well, I'm not quite sure if I believe it goes now, but it's The in there is starting to feel different. Evil the spirits! Air feels heavier. Normal it's stuffy air! Impressive. Any windows in there? A little summer. Alright. I'm not scared. I'm very scared. But like, I'm, a, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna like... Do anything, you know what I mean? Just gonna try to get through here and all this stuff and... Actually beat this game. Huh. Oh, falafels. It turns out that Devin got into the <sighs> by stealing Sullivan's key This atmosphere is... Is He's killing me. He had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Ah! Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably oh. just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. Uh -huh. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's key card. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen. But then again, Mrs. Rains would be the one who would do that. Uh. I discovered earlier today that Devin had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Okay, so... Uh, they buried Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home, I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. So they buried him with his key, so I have to... I'm assuming I gotta go back down there where Myrtle was. 
for the love of God. Yeah. Cause Sullivan's thing is down here or whatever. What is that? What the heck is that? Okay. So this is this is a waste of time. It's gotta be down in the, the morgue, right? Ain't that what that is? Or the the chapelle. Whoa! Oh god. Oh god. Sullivan and Myrtle as children. Yeah, she looks. They look like Sims. <laughs> 57 year old Sullivan James, was one of two funeral directors at the Chen Mai Hills funeral home, was killed Monday after he tripped and fell onto the tracks of an oncoming, oncoming train. Oncoming train! <laughs> According to his co workers at the funeral home, James has slipped into a state of grief stricken hysteria just minutes earlier after experiencing an emotional breakdown over the death of a childhood friend and co worker, Myrtle Va Varnworth. Who had been suffering from a severe brain tumor which doctors had deemed inoperable. Mrs. V Miss Varnworth passed away nine days after the end of her predicted death date. James, devastated, apparently gouged out his own eyes using a scalpel from the funeral home's pre preparation room and managed to scramble out a nearby window. What? He was that upset? Miles Treadman, an embalmer at Chan Meyer Hills Funeral Home and a short-time co-worker of Mr. James, had begun to chase after the frenzied man through the field behind the building but was not able to catch him before he reached a nearby segment of railroad tracks and tripped, falling down on top of them. Treadman and a few other eyewitnesses reported that James made no attempt to get up as the train quickly rolled in. Grief-stricken Sullivan James was killed on impact. Yeah, I, I bet he was. The fast-moving train hitting him with such force that he was severed into three pieces. Oh God, it has been speculated by those who knew the man that his fatal episode was due to my guilt for not treating his longtime friend how he believed he should have. They never buried either of them, both are still here. Oh, no. This double tragedy at the Chan Meyer Hills Funeral Home has sparked a great deal of public interest in the site and has become an attraction for loitering and vandalism among young people in the three days that have passed since the incident. Three arrests have already been made. There's something written on the back. They say if you take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he can. Oh my god! Oh my god! Something's under the table. There's a key here. It's labeled V. V room 2. What the frick is that? What? They stitched him back together. Oh, really? What? All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James, please gather in the room. Okay. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a coffin. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, dare you, dare you, double dare. There's a black origami rose on top of the coffin. Take it, yes. Now open the coffin. Now what? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Raffles! They shut the freaking door! Open! Ew! Hey man! I need a key! Hey man! Sullivan James was blind as a bat. Uh huh. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan James is coming for you. Give me the key. Oh god. Give me the key! Ah! Oh god! Ugh! I got stuck. I, I, got, I got stuck. Oh man. Ugh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? All the way back here? To make things even. This is a lockdown. Yeah. 
Alright. Let me out of here. Barrel. Next, continue. Jesus Christ! I don't like this. Marco! Marco! No! Open! 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 Um, wait, am I a woman? Sullivan James uh -huh. was blind as a bat. Oh. Sullivan James fell down flat. Wait, can he not hear me Sullivan if I don't James move? Sullivan James is withered and blue. Oh god. Sullivan James is coming for you. Okay, so I won't move. Ugh. I just won't move, right? It's gotta be it. That didn't work. Let's try this again. Dare you, dare you, double dare you. Double dare you. Ugh. Okay, so I do so I gotta like James was blind as a bat. Well, wait a minute, he can fly through Sullivan James over. fell down flat. Mm-hmm. Sullivan, Sullivan James, James is withered and blue. Oof. Sullivan James is coming for you. Come on, bring it! Bring it, sir! Bring it, sir! Okay, how to... Can you get up? I gotta run around. Key. No! Get out! And... Where am I running to? The front door? Nope, not that. Where am I running to? Where am I running to? Oh God, I'm getting points! I'm out! Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! Where, where am I running to? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Where the frick is he? Uh. Oh! No! 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 no. 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 Where am I running to? <laughs> okay, I lied. I'm not gonna finish it in this episode. Alright? I tried though. I freaking tried. I tried. I ran from him for like four straight minutes, okay? He can fly through walls. He cheated. Somebody grabbed my leg. I slipped. My shoelaces were untied. I tripped. They put Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. If you did not, also let me know. I appreciate all input. And hey, to the next video. See ya. Bye. Thank you.